Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. This is number 437. And the topic today is, are you still dating your parents? Um, I'm going to get into that in a second. So I'll introduce myself first and tell you more about who I am, what I'm about. I'm doing this on a cellular network, so hopefully it will stay connected. <laughs> and I'm also in the sun here to see the, the, the light shadow because I'm under an um, umbrella at a friend's pool party. So given the concept, so my name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And I do these talks every day called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. This is number 437. And the topic today is, as mentioned, are you still dating your parents? And uh, how do I say this? <laughs> the reality is that this is a um, unspoken taboo to say it this way, but the truth is, for most people, we still date. We're still dating people who remind us of our parents, and that is the trap. The truth, very simply, is that until we learn differently, we're going to keep repeating our, happen, our habits, our patterns, our experiences of dating somebody. Um, who reminds us, well, actually, not even intentionally. We don't actually re date someone to remind us of our parents, we actually date someone like our parents without realizing it. So let me ask, let me put it in this way. Consider, if you will, your past dating relationships, particularly if you got married or long-term relationship. If you look back at those relationships and look at some of the patterns you had between them, between you and them, the way you interacted, the way you didn't have what you wanted, and maybe the way you broke up, and then put that next to your parents' relationship. And notice, one, if the relationship equal, if, um, excuse me, if the relationship echoed, that's a good word, echo what happened to your parents, that's one thing. The second thing is, how many of the men did you, how many, for the ladies, how many men have you dated that remind you of either your dad or your mom? Either one. Because, in fact, I was talking to a friend of mine earlier today, this is what inspired this conversation. Because she was in a place where she realized that the relationship she's been having lately, when she was looking back lately at her past relationships, how she kept being attracted to men who reminded her of her father because of the way he was. Which included negative stuff, like being controlling and tough, even though he was very loving and kind, but she found that she's been with men who were controlling and tough as well. Maybe you had the same experience. And this is kind of a very short explanation, very simple talk, a very... Um, straightforward understanding but the reality is the reality is that if you don't catch this in your awareness if you don't wake up to this if you don't get understanding of this you basically are <laughs> doomed to keep repeating it I'm sorry to laugh at you but that's the reality if you want different if you want to change now for some people this is not that critical but for most people it is important so if you want to change this First, we've got to become very aware of what it was about your parents that you loved and were challenged by, because a lot of times we attract relationships that aren't things we loved about our parents. Oftentimes, they were things we hated, because this is the dance of relationship. This is the challenge of relationship. And I want to make sure that you get this point clearly, that in the paradigm of relationships, we have a bad tendency to default to behaviors. And I've talked about this before, how we default to old paradigms, old experiences where we will tend to meet people without realizing why we're attracted to them. And this is the thing, the mystery of attraction, it isn't a mystery. The reason you're attracted to people without knowing why is because they remind you of somebody you grew up with, parents or even siblings. And that usually is a negative pattern you're being um, attracted to. You just don't know it consciously. Why am I attracted to that person? Because they're gonna give you the, the patterns, the experiences, the challenges that you have with your parents or your siblings or your, whatever it was, or your parents had between each other. And that wake-up call, if it is a wake-up call for you, I hope it is, is a call to action to take a different step, to step forward, to actually say, you know what, I want something different. That is where the change can happen. Because until you're aware of it, I'm trying to think there's a quote that was coming through. It's like you can't change something if you don't know what it is. So hopefully this is giving you some sense of an awareness of going, oh, that's what's going on. And by understanding what that is, you can make a shift. So, if you are now aware, 
that you've actually been attracting relationships like your parents. First of all, get clear if that's what you want. Because again, you might be finding some attractive relationship like your parents because it was working. And your parents had a perfect relationship, so you want to model that with the people you're falling in love with. That can work. But the majority of the time, it doesn't work for people because it's a limiting pattern, a negative pattern, a, a dysfunctional pattern that you're inheriting. So the way through this, the way to change it, this is the this is going to, I'm going to give you the, the bullet points of what to do, but it's a lot more than that in the work. So first of all, you've got to get clear what it is. Simple awareness is the first place to start. What is it that you have been repeating in your relationships that you don't want to do anymore, but you know where it came from? Because the first thing is awareness. Knowing that it came from your parents is a powerful wake up. Secondly, look back at your childhood and go back to when you're probably either early teens or younger than that and notice where something happened in your relationship with your parents that was impactful. Maybe traumatic, maybe so maybe celebratory, but mostly negative. Because what happens is we get imprinted when the time of great stress, great pain, great trauma. So you've taken on patterns that you watch around you when you go imprinted, like, a, like being stabbed with it, and you get impaled on that belief and you start running it. What you need to do, step three, is to take that stake out, that wound out, that spear out of your heart that is still in there that's running the old pattern. And then once you do that, the full step is to heal that part inside that's still wounded so you can grow up to be the level you want to be at. That's four main steps. Now, in coaching, counseling, therapy, that's not done in two hours. <laughs> but it's the work that needs to be done if you want to change your paradigm, change your relationship history, change your experience. So I'm selling you this now so you know the um, the paradigm, the challenge that you may be blocking so you can actually have what you want. So this is what I do in my coaching, just so you know where I'm speaking from. Um, I'm going to actually cut this short because I'm actually getting blinded by the, by the reflections of how to do this talk, but I want to make sure you get this point. You can change your life. And I talked about this last week about self-love because that's part of the work. Is the more you love yourself, the less dependent you are to the patterns that run your life in the past. So two things I'm going to mention ways to reach me, the way to get in touch with me, one of which is what I mentioned in the last couple of days because I launched it on uh, today, Sunday, Friday, which is a self-love guided meditation um, practice, written and audio, so you can actually listen to the guided meditation, the AM and PM versions. For that, you can go to barryselby.com forward slash self-love, read about it, and if it fits for you, sign up right there. But if you're looking to figure out how to heal these patterns of your childhood, to really change those as well, so loving is good, if you want to really heal those patterns inside, then go to my website, again, barryselby.com, click on Let's Chat, and sign up for Discovery Session. Get clear about how I can help you, because I can. And that really is about it. I want to keep it brief. It's only a short talk today, because basically I'm at a pool party. I want to get back to it, to be honest. But I want to commit to my 5 p.m. Pacific time. If you want to see my broadcast before I do this every day at 5 p.m., this is number 437. You can watch these all my broadcasts on my business page on Facebook, or on YouTube, most of them on my podcast. And quickly so you find them, I put these on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, on YouTube under the play, um, channel Barry Selby Playlist Messages for the Masculine, and on iTunes on my podcast, which is on the Messages for the Masculine. And that just summarizes it. If you want to reach out to me, go to my website, sign up for a conversation with me, let's chat. If you want to check out Self Love, please go to my website. You can look at Self Love Practice, or you can just go to barryselby.com forward slash self love. And that is it. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for being with me, and we'll be back again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time with a probably more, less background noise, more invested conversation. But once I get one done today, is my commitment to you. So thank you for joining me, thanks for being with me. I will see you again tomorrow. Um, any questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them below and I'll respond when I sign off. I'll see you later. Bye.